Hello again, it's Jess or Jashi Karen, and welcome back from my video on Dutch door layout ideas. In the other video I released today on Dutch doors, I went through how to make each of the three different types of Dutch doors. So the folded vertical, the cut vertical, and the horizontal layouts. If you weren't sure on how to make Dutch doors, I'd recommend going and checking that one out first. There's a link to it in the cards above. If you were already Dutch door savvy, however, and just wanted some ideas of how you could use Dutch doors, then this video is for you. Before we jump into it, just a reminder that any of the equipment I use in today's video will be linked in the description box below. As you guys know, I'm quite into my color palettes. So for today's color palette, I am going to be using these five Tombow dual brush markers. So color 899, 912, 993, 452, and 528. For this first one, I'm doing a future log that uses a horizontal Dutch door. The idea behind this one was that I wanted to create a future log that you only had to write the title out once for. So regardless of which month you're looking at, you can see the same title. This could be quite handy, especially if you're the type of person who can write something out very neatly and very nice once, but then have a hard time recreating it again. Just as a disclaimer, for these spreads I am taking a fair bit less care than I normally would. Because really I want you guys to get the idea of the spreads, rather than getting a perfect execution which is kind of what I aim for in my journal. In having the Dutch door on this future log, it essentially makes it so that you have more room on the same spread. Trying to fit a full 12 months into a double page is really difficult, whereas fitting 6 to a double page gives you a lot more room to write down your events. To finish this one off, I'm going in with a Tombow jaw brush marker and just adding some somewhat decorative dividers, just for a little bit of visual interest. As I put dots around the header, I thought that I should also put these around the dividers as well, just so it kind of ties them together. So for this one we essentially have 8 squares across for each of these columns for the months, and then a shared header for this dutch door. For this one I'm setting up a weekly log that also uses a dutch door. I'm using my guillotine for this one to cut the page, just as I wanted that really crisp line. Along the top I'm going to have spaces for the events for the week, and then the dutch door component is going to be down the bottom. Normally I would rule these boxes up, but again I just want to give you guys a feel for how the dutch door works in these layouts, rather than perfect spreads. Although in my other dutch door video where I show you how to make the dutch doors in general, I rave about taking your time so that you don't ruin your pages. I of course in this one had to make some mistakes though. Here I end up ripping the page I've just drawn the boxes on, so to fix it I just flip over and run some washi tape over the ripped section. This washi is going to be really fitting for our next dutch door layout idea, so I'm not too fussed about having to put it down ahead of time. With the top section drawn out, it's time to focus on the dutch doors. I first run some washi along the rows that make up the very top of the door, just to make them a little bit prettier. And then it's in with the pit artist pen to draw up the boxes. In this one I've cut the dutch door to go across 13 columns, so half a page. This meant that when I came to draw out the boxes for the daily checklists, the edge of the boxes on the dutch door was in the same column of dots that I'd done my cutting. To make this a little neater, if I was to do this in my own journal, I would have made the dutch doors 14 columns across just so that they could comfortably house a checklist that was 13 columns across. To finish this layout off, I used the S size pit artist pen to add in the initials for each of the days on the four trackers running through the middle of the spread, as well as adding some colour with the Tombow jaw brush markers. Today's colour palette was inspired by this picture. If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you'll know that colour palettes are something I'm quite keen on at the moment. If you are interested, I do have a video on how to make and choose colour palettes for your journal, a link to which is in the cards above. So for this one we have a space at the top for the events for the week, 
We have sections to track your steps, sleep, water intake and meal plan. Though of course these could be changed just to be meals in general, so breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks, or anything else. And then spaces for your daily checklists down the bottom. In this layout idea, I'm setting up a sensitive information page. The idea behind this one is that sometimes we keep information in our journals that we don't necessarily want somebody accidentally opening up to. On this layout, the Dutch door is made to hide or shield the information that's behind it. As the pages of the LT 1917 are on the thinner side, I'm also sticking one of the cutouts onto the back just to make sure that people wouldn't be able to see through onto the next page. The title I'm writing on this one might not actually be the best thing to keep people out, because people are nosy, but of course instead of this you could write something that won't really pique people's interest, or just do some general decoration. With the title written out, I'm also going in and ruling up a guideline just so that I'd know where to stop writing down my sensitive information. Here I'm also writing down some ideas of sensitive information you could actually put behind this Dutch door. So trackers, things like surprise parties or gift lists, and other similar things. To secure the Dutch door down, I'm just adding a small piece of washi tape, and this means that if people open up to this page, it won't open up to your sensitive information. So you can see that if anybody opened this page, given this little piece of washi tape, it wouldn't automatically fall to your sensitive information. It also means that people have to actively take the washi tape up and turn the page to view something that they know that they shouldn't. In this one I'm showing you a monthly layout that would use Dutch doors for the entire month. Because in practice this would actually take up a lot of pages, I'm only going to set this one out for two weeks. To start off, I'm going in and drawing out a habit tracker, and you can see I've drawn half of it on one page, and the other half on a page quite a bit later. This page comes after all of the Dutch doors. To cut these Dutch doors out, I'm going in with that guillotine again, because I want those nice crisp lines. To make sure that the habit tracker is going to be visible on each of these Dutch doors, I'm cutting off the bottom section and tearing them carefully out of the journal. For this one I was a lot more careful when I teared my pages out, so I didn't rip up anything I'd already set out. For each of these Dutch doors, I also made sure to go in with my corner rounder, just because I prefer these rounded corners to the sharp ones. I'd probably have to say that my corner rounder is one of my favourite tools for when I'm doing a Dutch door. Just while time lapse me is ruling this one up. I wanted to remind you guys of the poll that I have going for my February monthly theme. In my January Plan With Me video, as well as over on Instagram, I asked you guys for suggestions of what you thought my journal's theme should be for next month. You guys didn't disappoint with the ideas, and I'd love it if you could go and vote on which theme you'd like to see me do. My February Plan With Me will be coming out on Sunday, January 27th, and I thought we could do that one as a premiere as well. I was hoping that this year, if people were interested, we could do each of my monthly Plan With Me videos as premieres, as I find it really fun getting to interact with you guys as we watch them together. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. The idea behind the Dutch doors on this spread is that the smaller ones are for daily checklists, and these sit between two larger Dutch doors that are your weeklies. This means that regardless of which daily checklist you're looking at for the month, you can see your habit tracker down the bottom, you have a small section in the bottom left corner, which could be for goals, and then the title of the month and maybe a monthly checklist are running down either side of the page. As well as this, you can also see all of the information from your weeklies, which means that at a glance you see everything really that you need to for the whole month. To add some decoration to the front of the Dutch doors, I'm just sticking in a piece of paper that says get things done. Of course this space could really be used for anything, whether it be certain types of trackers, note sections, or anything else that you think would be essential in your monthly setup. After this I'm going in again with those Tombow Jewel Brush markers to colour in the rest of the spread.
So on this one we have a space for a vertical monthly log, as well as a small calendar at the back here. We have space for the tasks and events that are coming up, notes, goals, and a habit tracker. And then for the Dutch doors we have a week between these two bigger pages, and then this smaller page being a checkbox. So it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then notes or something similar. And then on the sides of these ones we have spaces for something like events and meals or anything else that you wanted to jot down on a daily basis. In this last layout idea I'm showing you how a Dutch door can be used as decoration. Not being the most artistic person and wanting something that was relatively straightforward to draw, I decided that my Dutch door for this one was going to be a vase of flowers. Very large flowers, so I didn't have to draw too many lines out. I've drawn my vase spanning a double page spread, and then after going in with the pencil, I went in with my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen to do all of the black outlining. Once the black outlining was finished, I then went in with my scissors to cut around this to make my Dutch doors. Instead of cutting directly on the outermost lines, I gave myself a little bit of space between these. I think this ends up making it look a little bit neater, and it also means I don't have to be quite as careful when I cut these out. With everything cut out, I then went in with my Tombow Dual Brush markers to colour these in. I decided to make my flowers yellow, and because green wasn't part of the colour palette, the leaves for this one are going to be blue. Remember, it's your journal, and if you want things to be blue when they're usually green, then that's totally up to you. One thing to be weary of when you're using water-based markers in your journal is that if you go over it too many times, the page can actually get kind of damp and a little bit more fragile than usual. Which means you shouldn't do what I did and pull on small segments of paper when they haven't fully dried yet. Yeah, you know when I said that your Dutch doors are fragile and you should be careful with them? I, uh, I was not lying, so please do be careful and don't rip them like I just did. Alrighty, so for this one we just have that decorative style Dutch door, and behind this one you could keep pretty much anything. I know for the people who do use these ones, they typically use them to do weekly spreads, so they might have their notes or something else behind here, and then other things around the side. Also with the image I've made here, it is quite skinny. You can make it wider and then you have more space underneath it to write down whatever you want. And now just for a final flip through of the spreads we set up. You can see that the Dutch door can be used in so many different ways in your journal. And it is certainly something fun to try out and play around with. For the first layout, we had a future log using a horizontal Dutch door. And our second was a weekly Dutch door layout. This one here was our sensitive information page using a vertical Dutch door. And after this, we had a monthly setup where all the weeklies and daily checkboxes were on Dutch doors. Last but not least, and a little worse for wear, we have the decorative Dutch door. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video or found it helpful, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you hadn't already and wanted to, subscribe to my channel to see the videos I release every Thursday and Sunday. I'll be back again on Thursday with another weekly plan with me video, and so until next time, bye!